right guys, so I'm back. I found a way I could get the car up for enough room for me to remove the pipe. I've uh, decided to try and tackle this myself rather than taking it somewhere to pay for this. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the H pipe is a little bit shorter, but I'm gonna see if I can kind of clamp some extensions between there, make it work. If not, it's not a big deal because I can go later and get somebody to do some welding work, weld some pipe in place, but I'm gonna do my best to try and save a few bucks. As you can see, the X pipe is off. Just wanted to make sure I could get under here and take it off, so. So let's see how this sucker fits. Should just be plug and play literally. Let's see how bad the extensions are needed. Oh yeah, you can see right there, we're already about six inches, six to eight inches, somewhere in there from needing a, an extension. Ah, I see what's going on here. So it stops it in there. I'm going any further than that. I'm going to tighten these up. You guys want to hear what it sounds like with a straight X pipe? I mean, uh, straight H pipe there with it's of course we do we got to do that damn this sounds nasty definitely a lot more uh, deeper rumble there can't wait to see how that translates through the steeda axle back All right, everybody, so real quick, just kind of show you how I got underneath the car. Is I lifted it up as high as I could on one side because all I've got is jack stands and a floor jack. When it comes to safety, I don't play around. I mean, because I want to keep having fun. I don't want to get injured, disabled, or killed just for, uh, you know, enjoying my hobby. So jack stands. To support the car I made sure that the 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 jacks could support the weight without the jack underneath there the floor jack and then the floor jack is added under there with with slight tension on it to act as another jack stand so that should be plenty of um, of bracing there and and support and just for one more measure is put the these Rhino ramps one of them underneath there I guess I could put the other one up front but uh, just to ensure because you know I have two two uh, sources of, of support up here and two other sources back here so I think that's pretty adequate so anyway I don't know how well you can see that but looks good I haven't fired it up yet in fact we're gonna do that here in a moment but um, so I ran into a snag here on the project is is if you don't know I already had an X pipe a Stita X pipe in place and the Steeda X pipe is actually longer than the H pipe, so it's always easier to cut pipe as needed, and uh, rather than add pipe. So what I landed up doing was running to O'Reilly's, and it's a two inch, two and a half inch end to end flared connector there. Got two of those. Uh, bought a flared end to end two and a half inch. Uh, inner diameter is what you want to get the two and a half inch inner diameter pipe is what you need and the adapters the two and a half inch ID uh, connector so I got one I got two of the two and a half inch inner diameter connectors and one two and a half inch um, flared I guess you would say inner diameter uh, connector pipe that was I believe 18 inches and I, what I landed up doing was cutting the 18 inch pipe in half so each end had a flared two and a half inch inner diameter piece so that pipe between there and the connector is the the uh, 
the 18 inch that I cut in half and then the clamps here I don't have any clamps back there because honestly it's really tight and I'm gonna check for exhaust leaks and if we have anything significant I'll button up later I, I may just put some connectors or I may just get some clamps and put them on there later or take it somewhere to get welded but for right now it's it serves the purpose uh, I believe so when I fire it up I'll get back under here to check for leaks but if it, it's really solid I mean you, you can't move it you got it it's solid I'll have to readjust my exhaust tips and everything again because the position may have changed on the axis of the of the clamps and connections on the, the axle back so I'll have to eyeball that and do that later as well so we're gonna see how this thing sounds and enough common sense to put a few pieces together to make it work because otherwise I would have had to take this to an exhaust shop and probably get charged $140 or so so it looks good Alright, so I'm going to lower the car now, and if you're wondering why that board is there, because my car is lowered, and when I lower it on there, it's going to give me just the gap I need to be able to pull the jack out from underneath. Because if your car is as low as mine is, and it's not even that like super low like some of them I've seen, the jack uh, does not fully go down enough to pull the, uh, the hooks out from underneath. honest with you guys it's kind of hard to tell the difference in the sound right now but it is a little, it's got a little bit quieter all right so let's go check this out sounds like cleaner it actually sounds cleaner and louder I'm not making this shit up yeah there's definitely a different tone in there I don't hear I know I said the axle back and the X-pipe had no drone. Now that I'm experiencing the H-pipe, there was a ever so slight little hint of drone. Nothing to even really almost pick up on, but I'm noticing during the shifts, there's a different sound. During the acceleration, normally we're, you know, my ears are expecting to hear something and, and it's not hearing what it normally did, so definitely something different here and then we're gonna check it out under a uh, wide open throttle up here and see how it goes oh whoa that was good got a little pop out of it right there that's new okay yeah I definitely enjoy this 
sound of the H pipe more during light acceleration. The H pipe sounds a lot better under uh, light acceleration so far. It's actually got more attitude. The other one's just raspy. This one's got. It's very difficult to describe it, but. That's what I love about these, this style of exhaust is when you're just cruising it, hard to tell there's even anything uh, that can get out of hand there, but when you need it to, it will. Being 315 gears, this thing has an insane amount of torque at the bottom and people, I know people are going to talk shit about that. Say, oh Coyote, you ain't got no torque in it. Well, you know what, man, for it not having no torque, it just blew the tires off pretty damn crazy with... 